Hi guys and welcome to this Excel quickie. Here I'm going to show you how to get relative range references, so without the dollar signs, when you use the address property on a range in VBA. So let us say that you have the active cell and you want to get the address of it, which will give you its range reference. And let's go ahead and put it in a message box so we can see it in the worksheet. And let's run it on, say, D5. We get dollar sign D, dollar sign 5. And maybe you don't want the dollar signs. So let's get rid of those. It's actually very easy to do. It's something that uh, I almost never do because I never use the address property. <laughs> it's kind of rare if you're using cells all the time instead of regular range. But all you have to do is open up address, so open parentheses, and 0, comma, 0. Then we can go back, test it out, and see that we get D5. So it's awesome. Apparently, address has a bunch of options. And for the first two arguments, it's row absolute and column absolute. By default, it's true. So you just pop in a zero there for false. And it says, I want you to give me a relative row and a relative column. If you wanted, you could also do, let's say, 0, comma 1 and run that dude. And then you get the dollar sign in front of the column, but nothing in front of the row. So there we go for the address property. And there are a bunch of other options here as well, but I'm not going to cover those today because this is an Excel quickie. So that's all for this one, and I hope you found it helpful.